Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I know I haven't posted in a while, but today we're going to be talking about obfuscation, what it is, how people use it maliciously, how people use it non-maliciously. Now in this video, we are going to be using PowerShell, so we can just close this real quick and get back to MS Paint to show you guys what's going on. Sorry for my crude drawing here, you know, I just kind of whipped this up in a few minutes to show you guys some visuals about what's going on, so it'll be easier to understand for you guys. I'm going to read a quick definition of obfuscation for you guys real quick. Obfuscation in computer code uses complex roundabout phrases and redundant logic to make the code difficult for the reader to understand. The goal is to distract the reader with the complicated syntax of what they are reading to make it difficult for them to determine the true context of the message. Basically, this means coding something in a weird way to confuse anyone who's reading it or any machine that's trying to scan it for malicious code. So this is some harmful code right here. And whenever the harmful code gets scanned by the antivirus, maybe this is the base antivirus of the computer, it doesn't get detected by this antivirus. Maybe it's the basic Windows antivirus or the basic Linux antivirus. And whenever it gets scanned by the computer, it doesn't detect anything inside the virus. So whenever it looks at this obfuscated code, it doesn't see any viruses in it and just like lets it on the computer. But maybe the person who owns the computer notices some weird things going on, so they download a third-party antivirus to scan the same piece of software. But this time, the third-party antivirus has a detection. It detects this obfuscated code has a virus inside of it. And the person who owns a computer probably believes this, even though it could be a false flag, they still decide that, okay, well, it's probably better to, like, remove this program from my computer and report it to the Windows antivirus. The Windows antivirus team, like the base antivirus for the computer, so it doesn't have to be Windows, but most people use Windows. It's like, okay, well, we gotta figure out what made our antivirus slip up. Like, what inside this object code made it slip up? And so someone's going to look through the code, but before they look through the code, they have to unobfuscate it or deobfuscate the code. So whenever they're done deobfuscating code, they probably figure out, okay, well, it's probably this line of code or this line of code that tripped up the antivirus and made it impossible to detect. So now if the antivirus sees anything like this inside the obfuscated code, it will know that, okay, that is a actual detection, not a normal piece of software. It is malicious. So you're probably asking, what made the harmful code get detected by the third party antivirus and not the base? Basic Windows antivirus. I thought that the Windows antivirus would be better than the third party antivirus, right? Because there's so many people working on it. Well, here's the thing whenever someone makes this obfuscated code, they are not making it for the third party antivirus. They are making it for the basic Windows antivirus, which is why whenever it goes through, it gets detected by the third party antivirus because it has different checks than the Windows antivirus. Which means that whenever a third party antivirus scans the obfuscated code, they will detect it while the Windows antivirus will not detect the program. Obfuscation can be used for many other things. For example, it can be used in other computer programs to make sure no one can crack the program along with other measures. It has many other useful situations for people not intending to use it maliciously. These are just the basics and it doesn't go too deep into what obfuscation is. Like, obviously it's in MS Paint. But it does give you a good idea of what obfuscation is. Uh, at least I hope it did. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll come back later. And uh, yeah, peace.